In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about spot colors and how we use the spot color mixer. Now on page two here, I've got a standard type logo here that's got these three colors in it. There's blue, yellow, and red color. When we talk about spot colors, what we're trying to do is reproduce these colors as accurately as we possibly can using our large format printer. So the first thing we need to do is actually set these spot colors. Now, most clients will give us their spot colors in a PMS color or in a lab value as a, as a general rule of thumb. So what we do is we come up here to edit, come down to select by color. We'll just select this blue color to begin with. Come across to this uh, fill fly out here and come down to spot color and click on that. And our spot color editor comes up as you can see here. And it defaults to RGB. So I'll set that to LAB, which is the sort of default color that, um, of the default color model that uh, most uh, clients will use. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set these colors as, as we're being instructed. So, you know, the, the color might be 46, 6 and say negative 50 as an example and that might be say PMS 44 I'm just making this up as I go in blue just just to show you the example here so we've got our spot color here as you can see and we click OK so we've reproduced our spot color here and we see it up here in the uh, reserve color up here the current fill and we can put that into our reserves if we want to uh, and then we've got this yellow color here which we can just click on here we can see we've selected that again we go to the spot color fly out so uh, we make sure that it is on lab uh, and this one might be say for example 90 by negative 11 by 90 whoops by 91 and we can see that it's this yellow color here and we'll call this um, say PMS 33 and this can be yellow for argument's sake click OK so we've now set that spot color and the last one here is red come down to spot color again make sure it's set to lab and we'll say make this 52 72 by 54 and this is the red color our clients asked us for so we'll say PMS uh, 88 and we'll call this red as so and we click OK. So now we've set these three spot colors here and when we actually send this job to the uh, artwork manager by clicking on the rip button here you can see the artwork here we say we check this box use spot colors now there's a whole lesson on this so I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail here but you can see the colors that we've set as you can see it's, it's uh, reproduced all this information click accept that loads into our rip manager I haven't given this job a name and we go to untitled and we've got our colors here and you can see spot colors 3 so when we send this to our large format printer when we click rip or print here and send it to our large format printer the rip manager will do its utmost to reproduce these colors as accurately as possible as we've set them so that's what we mean by the targeting of spot colors that's how that, that system works I'll just close out of that there so that's how we spe set spot colors now when we come back to these colors, if I click on this blue color again, and I come back to the spot color mixer here, you can see that it's remember this information I've typed in. And if I now save this job, if I save it to disk here, uh, and then reopen it, this information will be saved for us. So that's how the spot color mixer works and how we apply a code. As I've shown you here, you can apply the code that you've been given in the name. You can type in any information you like here. And so long as you save this uh, document off, this information will be saved with the document but it is on a document by document basis so make sure that you do remember to save this information and if you want to apply say for example this E was meant to be in this blue color uh, you just select the blue you, you pop it over to your oh, I've already got it in the reserve there let's say we wanted to make that E red so we've got this red color here we pop it over to the reserve as you can see we click on the target that we want to make that red and we just click on our reserve color there now that's in that red color. If I click on that, come down the spot color fly out, you can see here that it's PMS 88 red as we've set, and that's how we apply the spot color between um, objects in our uh, document, just like that. So it's very easy to do that. And now if I wanted to, to reproduce this job here, that E would also print out at that same um, uh, uh, sorry LAB value that uh, I've set for this, this swash of red here, or this swirl of red on that E there. Now the other thing I'll show, just undo that, if I wanted to color, uh, sorry, if I wanted to print these out in uh, ink colors, I could select on this blue color here, I could come down to the spot color, and I could actually go to say CMY, and I could set this to say 100% um, cyan, and 0% magenta and yellow, for example, and I could call this say code C, as again I'm just, just typing in some values here just to show you, and I could say I call it cyan and click OK, so that would set that to cyan, I could do the same as with this uh, spot color here. I could say, okay, I'm on CMY, yes, um, 
I want cyan at zero, I want uh, magenta at yellow, uh, zero, and I want uh, yellow at 100%. Um, and I could then call this Y, leave it at yellow here, click OK, come through to this color here. I might want to make this magenta, for example. Make sure I'm on CMY, so 100% magenta, 0% yellow, 0% cyan. And here I might make this M, and I might say magenta, as so, click OK. So now, when I send this to the rip, as you can see, I've got cyan, yellow, and magenta. Uh, when I send this to the rip, you can see it there. I can check view spot colors, and you can see it's using these values. You can see how it's uh, brought in the values as I've set them. Click accept. This comes into the rip, as you can see. Now, when I print this, uh, when I click print, and the rip manager processes this job and rips it out, it will actually print these colors out using the color channels directly of the printer. Okay, so I can print this with actually using cyan ink, yellow ink, and magenta ink. So that's that's how you set exact spot color. Uh, sorry, ink channels, and you can do the same with um, things like underbase here. Over here, you've got these underbase controls, etc. Uh, and that's how we set these particular colors. And um, you can also set things like foil colors, etc. So that's how the spot colors work, uh, and that's the end of this lesson.